Welcome to Insurance 101 with Wyatt Insurance and on today's installment, I, Will Hodge, will be talking to you about claims. Now when everybody thinks claims, they think, uh-oh, that means the big bad insurance company is not going to pay out my insurance. To prove that, I brought out my old friend Urban Dictionary to tell us what an insurance company is and they describe insurance companies as this, an affiliation of pirate gambling gamblers who accept bets called premiums. The dollar amounts of the premiums are non-negotiable, but the amounts of the claim settlements, should the company lose the bet, are rarely delivered without argument. Here's an example of Bob. Bob paid his premiums faithfully for years, but the insurance company steadfastly refused to pay his legitimate claims. Now, okay, if you feel that way about your insurance company, I as your agent, I'm a little hurt, but then again, I think we've all been there and we know what it's like and I totally understand. However, when it comes to the topic of claims, the insurance companies can actually sometimes be the heroes. Think about a, in terms of a large claim or potentially a total loss. Um, if you have insurance, that can really help you financially. It can also take the burden off you and your family. So to give an example of claims, let's use home insurance as a great example. And this is a conversation that I often have as a personal lines agent. Okay, let's just say that your insurance company, when you file a home claim, knows three things. And here's what I want you to know about your home claim. Number one, you are going to be surcharged for three years if you have a home claim. So let's just say you have a home claim and it's a $3,000 home claim and you have a $1,000 deductible. That means you're paying $1,000 and the insurance company is paying $2,000. So you're thinking, all right, I'm getting off the better end of the deal. But think about it in terms of surcharge for three years. You may wind up paying $2,000 in surcharge over the next three years. And then you have a claim on your file and you've paid the same amount of money. So think twice before you file a home claim because of surcharge. Number two, and I just alluded to it, is the number of claims, the frequency of claims. I think of it as a strike system. If you have a claim, the insurance company is then going to keep their eye out for you. They're going to see if your risk is worth it to them to have you. And if you have too many claims, you become at risk of getting non-renewed at the end of your policy's term. That leads me to number three. If you find yourself in a situation where you have too many claims, home claims, and you run and you get non-renewed, you are no longer eligible for a, a standard carrier and you go to a substandard market, which means this. The arrow going up, that stands for your premium. That's the rates that you'll pay. And in some cases, you'll pay three times as more than what you were paying before. The second thing, the arrow going down, that stands for the amount of coverages you're going to then have. You're going to be paying more premium for less coverages. And who wants that? Nobody wants that. Even as your agent, I promise you, we don't want that because we may be in your shoes next year. We don't want that for ourselves. So here's what we want you to remember. As your agent, this is the one thing we say. Save your claims for the big stuff. I'm a basketball player. I like to use sports analogies. Maybe you just need an analogy like me and just any analogy will help. Anything at all. In basketball, you get what's a, called a technical foul. That's different from a, just a personal foul. And if you get, you can, you can have two in a game, but you get that first one, you start to think differently while you're playing. You start to think, okay, I can't get a second one. I suddenly will be ineligible to play in this game. So think of it in terms of a technical foul. Yeah, you can have two, but after that first one, you suddenly are on edge and you're being watched at that point. And if you get a second claim, you're at risk of being non-renewed, which then may put you in the substandard market situation. So think of it in that term, if that helps you. If not, just remember this. The insurance companies, they're not bad people. It's not that they won't pay your claims or don't want to pay your claims. It's that as your agent, we want to be consultative. We want to be with you. And along this process, we have your best interest in mind. And what we're thinking about is the headache down the road, the higher premium, getting watched by your insurance carrier. And then ultimately, you don't want to wind up in a substandard market, paying more money for less coverages 
then it's something you could have potentially prevented by paying a claim out of pocket. Now, claims could be big or small, no matter who you are. It's up to you to use your judgment. And at the end of the day, you do pay insurance. So if you deem it necessary, then file the claim. But always remember, we're here to help if you have any questions. And Wyatt Insurance will be glad to help you if you ever have any insurance questions or you're wondering, should I file this claim? It seems a little small. What's the risk? Give your agent a call. We'd be glad to help you here at Wyatt Insurance.